Rick, what's going on? Davey, what's up? I need some money. OK. Got a family heirloom. Let's check that out. It's a Kunzite. A Kunzite? Kunzite. You sure it's just not a fancy piece of glass? It's been in my family for generations and generations. That's all I know. They only discovered the stone like right around 1900, so it hasn't been in for generations and generations. <laughs> uh, a generation? <laughs> <laughs> I come to see the guys at the pawn shop quite often. They can retail the stuff. I can't. I'm going to get 15 grand out of Rick. I mean, it's got to happen. I'd rather have the money than a pink gem. All right, do you know anything about it? Yeah, I guess it's an evening stone or something. Yeah, the reason they call it an evening stone is because kunzite can actually fade in sunlight, so it's jewelry you're supposed to wear in the evening. They're really rare. More money? Um, I'm going to have Jeff, my gemologist, check it out. What, you don't trust me? You don't think it's real? No, I don't. Come on. <laughs> you know it's real. I thought me and Rick were better buddies because I didn't think he needed to see a gemologist. You know what I mean? He didn't need no fancy machine to see that it was real. He could trust me. What's up, man? Davey says this is Kunzite. Well, that'd be cool. Let's do some tests. When Rick walked into my office, I was pretty excited because I don't always see Kunzite, let alone of one of this size. All stones have clarity characteristics which can help identify them. If it's glass, most likely there's going to be air bubbles. And so what I can see in here are inclusions that tell me that this is natural. So far, good news, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I won't know if it's a natural kunzite until I do other tests. It's a kunzite. It's a Not kunzite. Yet. We're going to find out if you're lying. This is a refractive index machine, and it measures the way light goes through the stone. And from that, we can tell if this is a natural kunzite or if it's something else. And as I can see through here, It has the right refractive index to be kunzite. So yes, this is a real kunzite. It is a natural kunzite. Ah, huh? I told you. I told you it was real. How much money? How much does this go for? Something of this nature, with this size and with this color, I'd probably estimate thirty to fifty dollars a carat. Okay, how many carats does it weigh? Three hundred and twenty-three point eight carats. So we're talking at $30 a carat, right at 9600 bucks, right in that neighborhood? Yeah, ballpark. All right, thanks, Jeff. $30 to $50 a carat gives us a retail value of somewhere between nine dollars and $16,000. Knowing Davey, he's going to try and squeeze me for all it's worth. <laughs> well, it's real. I feel it's worth fifteen grand. <laughs> 9600 if I need one. I don't need one, OK? It's big. It deserves big money. I'll give you five grand. I mean, just plain and simple, it's going to sit for a long time. 15 grand, five grand, 10 grand. I'll go 10 Gs. No. Please? I have to mount it in something which is going to cost me a fortune because it's going to use a lot of gold because it's going to be a big mounting. Where are we going to end? Meet in the middle? 7,500? I'll give you six grand. 7,500? Six grand. 65? I mean, things like that. You're winning. I was at 15 grand. Come on, Rick. Be a little bit more reasonable. All right, 65. All right. All right, give me your ID. I don't hate Rick. <laughs> I like doing business with Rick and Corey. But, you know, sometimes they win, sometimes I win. I mean, uh, this one, they won. Don't make fun of my picture. <laughs> I was much younger then. <laughs>